Hi YouTube, it's your girl Floyd fan since 2000 with another high review for True Blood. This is season 6, episode 8, entitled Dead Meat. This episode was everything. It had a lot of surprises in it. A couple things I liked, a couple things I didn't like, especially with Sookie. But, um, I just, I gotta get into it. Starts off where it left off with Eric uh, holding on to Nora. She melted away and, um... Bill was just there and he was crying. He was so distraught. He was like, Bill, you told me you would get Warlow. Where's Warlow? I don't see Warlow. My sister's dead. Well, you couldn't uh, pry away from your precious sister. You couldn't tell her how important it was. Now my sister's dead. And Bill, being as proper as he is, floats or, or makes Eric float. And Eric is like, oh my God, praise Lilith. I can, f uh, praise Bill if I can float now. Look at me. Oh my God, you are a God, Bill. And then Bill starts to get angry and goes, It's not my fault your sister died. I tried everything I can. I am not a God. You said I was a God. And then um, he starts talking bad about God. And you know, Eric, he don't like nobody talking bad about God. So he starts to get mad. And he, he kind of just lets, Bill lets Eric down. And then he looks, he goes, Get out of my house. And he leaves. And then, um... We go back to the camp, or we go back to Al Seed, who uh, is backing up because his pack is mad that he didn't kill Nicole and Sam, and they captured Nicole and her mother. And then um, he is looking like, "Look, Ricky." And Ricky was like, "You lied to us. I challenge you." She was like, "What do you say?" He said, "I'm your pack master." He said, "You're not anymore." She said, "I challenge you." She said, "All I need is a second. Anybody gonna back me up?" And Danielle backs her up. And then this other girl was like, I'll back you up too. And then the black guy was like, bitch, you crazy? That's Al C. Look at him. You can't challenge him. And she was like, yeah, but I already know he ain't got the balls to deal with me. And then, before you know it, they start fighting. And Al C, being the, like, he a man, but he still was beating her down. He started kicking her. You know what? He started kicking her butt. And, oh my God, I was like, oh my God, what's going to happen? I hope she don't do anything dirty. But I said, hold up. L.C. got this. And he had her. She was she was like, oh, I didn't think you would do it. And he was just looking like, hmm, I bet you didn't. And then before you know it, they show Sam. He in the um, in Merlots and he just, you know, packing up Terry things. And then he hears somebody and it's L.C. Who has brought Ricky, I mean not Ricky, but Nicole and uh, her mother there. And then they have this awkward moment where he's like, well thank you. He goes, it's a beer in here if you want a beer. I'm thinking, I'm thank God he helped. Or he went and um, rescued them. And I'm glad he kind of done with that pack. Um, they go in there and they kind of talk in. And he just apologized for everything they had to go through. And then... Um, he and her, they go outside to talk, and, you know, he hugs her and everything, and says, I'm sorry for everything, and then he smells something on her, he just goes, he just smells her hair and everything, and then, I'm thinking, oh my God, that smell, and then him and, uh, Al C have this moment where they're in the, the bar drinking, and they're like, um, you know, I smelled it on her, he goes, yeah, I know, he goes, um, it yours? He goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure it looked like or smelled like me. He goes, what are you going to do about it? He goes, I don't know. I'm going to drink on it. And then, um, that's it for then. Um, go back to the to the camp where, uh, Pam had just got through sleeping with the therapist. She comes out. He's on buck. He's buckling his pants. He goes, put up Pam and Jim Pop one. And Jessica and James have this moment where they're, you know, just got through having sex and they're just talking about how um, incredible it was, how in love they are. It's lovey dovey talk. And let me just say, I love James. I love James. I think he is sexy. Some people don't like him, but I don't care. I like him and Jessica way more than Jason and Jessica. Um, anyway, they walk in on them and then they, of course, put them in separate cells and, um, she's like, remember, don't drink the blood. And then, um, 
she goes back into Jim Pop 1 and they all realize that that girl is really into Jason and she's kind of going to make Jason her puppy dog feed on him have sex with him whatever and they can't really deal with her because she's a lot strong so they ask Pam and Pam is like look I don't want to get involved she's like Pam you have to you're like okay I'll try meanwhile the girl has um Jason in this like body where the morgues are got him in there and she's feeding on him and you know Pam is just like hey can I you know I want to talk to you and she's just like F off I'm eating she was like hey I tried and then she her and Jason have this thing he goes she goes you're gonna want me you're gonna I'm gonna make you mine you are mine she goes please don't don't rape me he goes I'm not one of those people that I'm one of those people that can uh, tell the difference between feeding and having sex. I'm one of those people that I'll, I'll feed on you, but I won't rape you. I'll make you want it. And I'm just thinking, oh my God. Um, another thing I want to mention um, was... Uh, what else happened in that camp? Oh, James is sitting down with Steve Newland, and he, oh, he's so nice. He was like, "Don't drink the blood," and he was like, and I was thinking, "Oh my God, don't tell him, don't tell him." Meanwhile, they have Sarah Newland who is coming in and running things, and she, um, of course, has Steve Newland running on a the track the treadmill or the track like a little mouse and she's like why can't you drink the blood he goes I can't tell you please she goes tell me why she's like UV lights he's he rats James out he's like James he told me he told me that um y'all are putting help V in the in the um blood she goes yeah by the way she goes there was no UV lights and I'm thinking you ratted him out not even there were no lights no UV lights or none of that. You're just a coward. And he starts crying and everything. I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? They rescue him or they get him and James into that room where the light is. And um, we don't know what's going to happen. I really hope James survives. He's crying like, I'm so sorry. Steve Newland and Sarah Newland both need to die. Sarah Newland is um, in the True Blood Factory. And she realizes that this woman, this Asian woman, is there. And she, you know, it's her product. She's wondering what are they doing with it. And she goes and sees that they're putting some, you know, virus in the hep V in the uh, blood. And she goes, what are you doing? Are you contaminating my product? And her and Sarah Newland get into this fight. I'm thinking she can't fight because she was kicking her butt, but she continuously kept running. And I was like, you should have kicked her butt and you should have ran the other way. She keeps running and everything. And the morning she's running, she, Sarah Newland's chasing after her. And I'm thinking, oh my God. Then when she gets around there while the, the um, gin pop one and two and three and four are, I'm like, oh my God, the vampires are going to eat her. And that's what happens. She slips and falls. And she kind of like, Sarah Newland kind of bangs her head against the um, vent. So the blood will come down. And the vampires start eating the blood. And then, before you know it, they up there eating her. And she takes a, a shoe and she kind of, huh? Okay, just put it over there. Kind of takes the heel of her shoe and kind of puts it in her head, bashes it in her head. You realize that Sarah Newland is so evil, you realize that she will definitely get her soon. Oh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, Sookie goes to um, Warlow and tells her or tells him that you know the plan is and how she needs his blood to rescue everybody he goes fine but I want you to be mine forever and she was just like dang I forever can't just date me and as she's walking out of the fairy thing she realizes that um or we realize that Eric is listening I knew she was going to run into Eric out there and he kind of tries to go into the fairy world and you can kind of see it getting dark but anyway um and I'm going to leave off here because I'm doing going to do another part. But anyway, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll be more on my second part. And bye-bye. Um,